What's up guys, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. This product is not sponsored, these are my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with the product. And today we have the Screen Bar Halo by Ben Q. Now here's a quick look at the packaging because that's what you pay for too. The packaging of the Screen Bar Halo is very well done and it feels as expensive as it is. When you first open the box, you really get a sense of quality in the product. Everything is neatly wrapped and it looks very presentable. Inside this little box has a few things. You have your instruction manual, the warranty card for the screen bar halo. This pad that they've included here is so that you can use the screen bar halo with ultra slim monitors. It comes with a set of AAA batteries. And this accessory right here is so that you can use the screen bar halo with curved monitors. Of course, you have the screen bar itself. It has a a very nice weight to it. This is the wireless controller which they call the Halo and it feels very solid in your hand. Make sure you install the AAA batteries, if not this thing is not gonna work. What's neat about this controller is that the backlit is magnetic and that's everything that's included inside the box. Now I bet some of you are wondering, Wasabi, this is not a gaming product. Well, you're not wrong to think that. But you see, as a tech reviewer, I would like to share more than just keyboards and mice. I generally care about people's well-being and gamers do more than just gaming on their setup. I mean, we're all human, right? We have lives outside of gaming, Discord and Reddit. And I think it would be good to cover products that my audience will find useful in some ways that they haven't thought about. The BenQ Screen Bar Halo is available for $179. And yes, if you think about it, this is a big pill to swallow for an elongated light bulb, but hear me out. Design-wise, what can I say? It's a screen bar, but this one has a nice dark metallic gray color to it. The screen bar itself is very well built. It's made of a combination of aluminum, PC materials, and the build quality of this clip feels like it matches up to the price very very well. The wireless controller is very well made and it feels expensive. Rotating the dial feels very smooth, smooth enough that you won't rotate the entire controller when turning the dial while it's sitting on your desk. Now installing the screen by Halo is a no-brainer, it's incredibly simple and the clip design makes it so easy. And if you're thinking what's so great about this clip design, well the great thing is that the clip opens up very wide which makes it compatible with many monitors. Just make sure that the screen bar lays flat on top of your monitor and you're good to go. You can also rotate the light bar if it's causing reflections on your screen. Or if you have a monitor tilted at an angle, for me when I play Valorant, I usually sit a little closer to my desk and have my screen tilted facing a little upwards. Setting up the wireless controller is very easy, no syncing required. Put the batteries in this wireless controller and it works instantly. The monitor that I have right now doesn't have a USB outlet, so I just plug it into an old iPhone charging head connected to a power outlet and it works just fine for me. Performance wise, the light distribution is pretty fantastic here and uniform across my desk. The screen bar Halo's maximum brightness is very impressive for a USB powered device. And the reason why I got the Halo is because I work on a white desk on my setup back home and compared to the screen bar plus, which is a version before this one, the Halo has a slightly wider coverage. There are three light modes to use, front light, backlight, also known as the immersive backlight, the third mode is having the front and back on. I don't know, but if you look on their website, marketing it as the first screen bar to have three lighting modes doesn't sound very impressive. I mean, honestly, it's basically having the front light or back light on or all lights on at the same time. They do mention that the front light mode helps to concentrate and the back light mode helps to create a relaxing ambience. But that is if your monitor is against the wall and having both on gives a good amount of illumination for comfortable screen work. Currently with this temporary setup that I have, there is no back wall behind my monitor and the backlight isn't strong enough to illuminate the big space behind it. So that is something to think about if you're deciding between this and other screen bars. What I love about the controller is that not only can you adjust the brightness, but the color temperature as well. And with this screen bar, the feature that I use the most is the real-time auto dimming function. It's a function where the screen bar changes the lighting in real time according to the ambient brightness. This is especially great if you're not sure what brightness or color temperature you should set it to to level out with other lights in your surrounding. So something I've been struggling on my setup was keeping light temperatures consistent across all lights in my room. My desk lamp, which is much warmer than the standing lamp I had on the side of my desk, and the brightness between the two were completely off. And that was straining the hell out of my eyes. And I'm pretty sure you noticed how much I was blinking in my previous videos. With a screen bar like this, one light source that lights up my entire desk evenly without screen reflections has been such a great relief for my eyes. Having 
having the option to adjust the light temperature is such a convenient feature for me because some days I like a warm and cozier vibe while on other days I prefer a much natural light tone. And when I'm shooting some peripheral gameplay on my desk, it's just the right amount of light I need to light up my gaming peripherals. There are light bars that are designed for streaming and gaming which usually have stuff like RGB backlighting and various lighting effects. And light bars like that really help you to elevate the aesthetic of your gaming setup. The screen bar halo on the other hand does none of that. So what you get here really is good quality light on your desk that helps you reduce eye strain and fatigue. So it really depends on what you do and what you're looking for. For me, I spend hours writing, editing, working with colors, details, and gaming as well. So you can imagine how much of a toll it takes on my eyes. Of course, if you're into streaming or if you're into going for a full RGB setup, this is probably not the screen bar you'd be interested in. Because of the brilliant design of the clip and accessories they've included with the screen bar halo, it can be mounted onto different monitors with different curvature and thickness. I do not have my Alienware Ultra Wide with me now, so I haven't tested it yet, but I think it's it's great that BenQ designed this to be compatible with as many monitors as possible. So here are some experiences to share and some users which I think I found useful with this screen bar. For gaming, I've been using this with every gaming session the day I got it and it's been so great because my eyes do not feel as strained as before and that helps me to really focus on what's going on on screen and I found this especially useful for competitive gaming. So since having this screen bar on my setup, what I did notice is that I have a lot better sleep at night, my eyes are more relaxed the next day and I generally feel more awake and focused. Another positive that I thought about is that if you are into modding your keyboard or you use your setup space to work on your craft, hobbies or even studying, the lighting you get from the screen bar is perfect. What I did notice is that the brightness with the front lamp does get reduced when the backlights are on. And my guess is that because it's powered by a USB connection, there's only so much light that this thing can push out. But still for me, it's more than bright enough with my experience. Also, something you should know is that if you're using a Zowie monitor or any monitor with this design, it blocks the backlight of the screen bar, which makes it kind of pointless. So if your monitor does this, you may find more value in the screen bar plus, which is a cheaper version and does not have the backlight. So in conclusion, here are some things that I like about the screen bar halo. The light sensors on this thing is pretty amazing. Real time auto dimming is such a useful feature. I like it a lot because I know that what's bright for someone might not be bright for me. And I can't be sure what is a good brightness for my eyes. So this creates a good starting point for my eyes to readjust. Light temperature setting is especially useful for me because now I use this as one of the light sources to shoot scenes on my desk. And with my style of content production, I need to set the light temperature somewhere between 5600 and 5900 Kelvin. You cannot see the exact temperature, but because I'm used to shooting, I have a good idea of which level it should be. I like the level of brightness that this thing can go up to and the very fine adjustments you can do with the brightness compared to something with only three brightness settings, for example. Example. Now in conclusion, what are some things I feel can be improved? So the price of this screen bar is on the expensive side and I think most people would find no real need for a wireless controller with the product like this because you won't find yourself adjusting the light as often as you would imagine. I think what BenQ could do to make this the ultimate screen bar for your setup is by integrating media controls in this controller. Perhaps maybe with a separate Bluetooth connection to your PC. That way you can easily adjust the volume, music and lighting on one device. Hmm. I will honestly say that I don't have any issues with this screen bar other than it being pretty expensive because this is such a beneficial product to my lifestyle and I wish more people would be able to have one. So three reasons why I would get this product. First reason, and it's the most important reason, is that I care about my eye health in the long run. The second reason is that the screen bar halo has the lighting coverage of 63 centimeters by 40 centimeters at 500 lux and it's great for a wide desk setup that I use back at home. And the third reason is trust. I trust BenQ as a brand. It's a Taiwanese company that has been around since 1984. BenQ actually stands for bringing enjoyment and quality to life. And this product totally does that, though my bank account doesn't really enjoy it. But I'm sure that this adds quality to my life. So final thoughts, what do I think of its value? Well, before trying it, I would not imagine why anyone would pay for a light that you put on top of your monitor. But after unboxing and using it every day, the benefits that a light like this brings is fantastic. When I think about it, this is a product that relieves the strain in my eyes and helps me to focus. It benefits my eye health and lets me put in 100% focus in the work that I do and the games that I play. And these are benefits that I feel every day having this 
this thing on my setup. That being said, this version of the BenQ screen bar is not exactly an affordable option, but there is the screen bar plus and the original screen bar from BenQ that you can check out. The one thing I do not like about having a screen bar is that it will sit on top of your monitor and it makes your setup feel more like an office than a gaming battle station. As a gamer, you would probably think, okay, I would rather use the money to get two new mice or a brand new Hall Effect keyboard, for example. And fair enough, but honestly, I am very impressed and surprised at how much benefit this light brings to my lifestyle. I don't know, maybe take a break from spending on gaming peripherals and for once get something that improves your quality of life so that you can enjoy what you do even more. I don't see this as a product to help me work or game for more hours, but instead a product that helps to reduce the damage to my eyes in the long run and let me do all the things that I enjoy on my computer in comfort. I personally enjoy gaming, writing and video production and I would very much like to keep doing these things with my eyes in good health. Like I said earlier in the video, I generally care about the well-being of people and majority of you guys spend a lot of time on screens. And if you didn't know, your eyes are freaking important if you want to keep gaming at your best. Okay, not just gaming but you get what I mean. Consider looking into products that can help you in some way while you continue to do what you love. Not pushing you to spend $179 on a light bulb, but just a suggestion. I think I might get one of these for my dad sometime because he does a lot of design work on his computer and I imagine this would be very helpful. Man, you know when I think about it, this feels less of a review and more like a consultation. But anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below, RGBs or productivity lighting or maybe both. If you enjoyed my video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And I guess I'll see you in the next one.